Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReview.ca, and this video is a little different. It's not really a review, but sort of is. Um, so all of these jerseys here, not the one I'm wearing, are supplied to me from jerseysmadeeasy.com. They reached out to me and they wanted to create a partnership where basically I would have a link, you click it, I get a kickback if you actually end up buying a set of jerseys. Um, and it was, I have, as you can see in the background and you should be able to tell from all my uh, videos, I have a big thing for jerseys. I make them all the time, I buy them all the time. So I'm really picky in that sense. Um, so I was curious of what this would entail. I have no issues supporting a product that I would actually use myself and support like the actual product itself. Like I believe in it. Um, so I asked Jersey's Made Easy to send me a bunch of samples so I could look at it to make sure that I would actually be okay with that. And this is what all these are. So this isn't a review of the process or anything like that. Um, obviously none of these have been worn by me, but what I'm going to do is go over each of these, talk about them in terms of like quality materials, options and stuff like that. And kind of like general pricing, pricing always changes. So don't ask me about pricing, go to their website, contact them. They should be really quick to respond. There's an online chat thing. And, uh, one of the reasons I was kind of okay with doing this is because when I was looking for jerseys for one of my teams, jerseys made easy was one of the websites that I went to. Um, a lot because it was like there's a process you could go through it you could like view all the different options and kind of get pricing just like that or general pricing just like that whereas a bunch of other ones you have to get a quote and everything so it was a good i good way to actually get like an estimate and to be able to price things out so what we're going to do is we're going to split this into multiple videos we'll have a video on socks we'll have a video on like jersey options and crests um, so like which crests, which jersey numbers you should get. And then we'll have a video, which will be this video on the actual jerseys themselves and the quality kind of thing and like what you're looking at for pricing and stuff like that. Um, so looking at the jerseys themselves, they sent me a ton of samples. So I'm going to start with the low end and then go high. So the very first jersey we have is this gin and tonic. And I love the use of the CCM looking logo, that's great. One thing that Jersey Made Easy will not do is copy professional team logos. Um, so don't expect to do a recreation of the Blackhawks with a Blackhawks logo, something like that, because it's copyrighted material, they won't do it. Um, now with that said, here is one of the lower end jerseys. So it's more of a value um, and more of a budget conscious one. You still get arm details. So there is a bunch of different options here. I'll overlay kind of those different colors that you get. The, this jersey is made by Kobe. Um, they're out of Canada. This one costs $23 for the jersey itself. So it is an economical uh, option. The materials, are, it is pretty thin. Um, you can like, see my hands through it pretty easy and it does feel pretty thin. It, it, it's labeled, considered a practice jersey in terms of the weight where you'll see the other jerseys coming up are, or I'll, I'll kind of do a overlay of showing the different weights next to each other. You'll kind of see the difference there. Um, so this, I did a whole pricing out on this on their website and that's of today. So look at the published date if you want to see when that price, is, price was uh, a thing. So this jersey itself was $23. Plus there was the logo and numbers. So the logo is for two colors. So this one's three, so it would be a little bit more. Um, two color logo, and I think it was a one color screen on number. And we have one of those right here. So let me pull that out. So that is just, so it's a heat pressed, which would be somewhere in the middle here. Um, so that total was $39 per jersey. So that's basically the budget of the budget you can get. And that's not a bad, uh, like, they'll, they, that's, for the logo, that's for the numbers, it's everything. That's the price per jersey. So that's the budget one right there. Personally, this isn't my style. I like a bit higher quality jersey, um, but again, I'm someone who is willing to spend more money on it. And I've dealt with trying to make uh, beer league teams and like hockey team jerseys. And I understand everyone doesn't want to spend any money. So it's a real pain to get that funding through. Um, but this is an option there. And in my opinion, this jersey looks pretty good. 
I would have, like, I, this is better than a lot of the teams I play against look like. So I'm okay with that. They do have some decent color options. Again, kind of show those over right now. So that is the budget jersey itself. Um, the next level we are at is it, it's kind of a, it's still like a practice jersey. Um, so this is a junior jersey, so, or youth jersey, so don't worry about the size. So this is still kind of like the practice weight jersey, um, but it's a different style. And it's a little bit, this one's a little bit more expensive. I think it has different shoulders. It has like a different shoulder design. So there's more actual cuts and different, as you can see, the piping. Um, so this one is $28 for the base jersey itself. So again, you'd have that logo, two colored logo. Um, and here is an example of the screen printed or, or the heat press number. Um, so that's, that's like the budget one again. So this one is for a youth team, uh, which again, great for like youth hockey where you kind of use them one year type thing. Even for beer league, again, having a matching set's a pretty key thing. So this is definitely a budget option there. Same material as the other one, um, just different style basically. And a slightly more advanced cut. So that's where the extra money comes from. Next, we have my kind of suggestion of a jersey. Um, so this is a Kobe hybrid sublimated jersey. So you can see a ton of details on this. Um, a few things that make this jersey really nice in my eyes. One, the material is definitely heavier than the budget one. So I'll show that right now so you can kind of see that. Two, the front and the back of the jersey get done full custom graphics. Um, if you can imagine it, they'll put it here again, not copyright stuff, but this is like, if I was making a Jersey, this is what I would try to go with. So the catch with these jerseys is you cannot change the shoulders and the arm colors. So you have, these have to be a specific set of colors. Um, and that is, kind of a hard sell on some people because they want arm numbers, but who, and designs. But in my experience, especially for beer leagues, no one cares about arm, num arm numbers. No one notices it. Um, and not having it makes like no difference compared to if it was just screen press on. I think this is the best value you can get. $55, again, all these prices are Canadian too. Um, so $55 for a full design in the front and then you have a different shoulders. My suggestion to people here is one, either do all white. So you have white shoulders with your design in the front or do like black with details, black arms. Um, so uh, Jersey's Made Easy told me that one of the hard parts is if you want to do like blue and blue, the blues are slightly off so it doesn't look that great because uh, it's on a different, slightly different material and the ink I guess it uses different. So you can see the difference right there. To me, that does like I'm a perfectionist, but at the same time, that that wouldn't bother me that much. Um, as long as it wasn't like, even if it was right at the top, I wouldn't have that big of an issue with it. It's not that bad. And to be able to get your actual design that you want on here, and the logo can be super detailed. You can have numbers up here, like it says. You can have names on the back at no extra cost. You can have sponsors. You can have. Like all this on back, like this is the flag and a bunch of stars. Um, you can have all of this and it's just $55. So to me, this is the deal of like the deal of all these jerseys. This is the best value. Um, I totally recommend it. I, out of all of these, I like, I would be happy wearing this. The other ones, I, I, this is probably the lowest quality personally that I would want to wear. Um, just because I'm a jersey snob, if you can't tell, it's from behind me. This and this sublimated one is way nicer than the one I'm wearing right now. This was, I've had this for like six years now, and it was the only way I could get a Slovenia jersey on eBay. So give me a break. This one's way nicer than this. So and I paid more than fifty-five dollars for this. So this is the deal. This is the way. Um, like this is the best option right here, and I definitely tell people would recommend people go for this. So another one that isn't here is a two-sided jersey. It's sublimated on both sides. I can't remember the price. It's on their website. I'll probably overlay it here. But the reason I don't recommend it is one, 
you're not saving that much money and you're basically losing a jersey so like for each pair so normally when you buy a home and away like a white and a dark um you get say if you have 10 10 skaters you get 20 jerseys but if you don't if you just buy one you have 10 jerseys so if someone isn't there for a game you're going to be short one if you're playing like a shinny group and you have 20 players and someone's not there someone else can't lend them a jersey because it's the only jersey they have so i never recommend doing that but people like it for some reason uh but anyways this is definitely my recommended one to go to huge fan of materials um huge fan of the ability to design it your limitations are the shoulders but you can easily get around that i think it's something people should really look at so the next jersey we're looking at is just a blank one so this one i was sent as a sizing sample and what i'm going to do is if you haven't noticed already i'm going to show these jerseys off and how they fit with my with me wearing shoulder pads. Problem is, remember, I'm six foot three, I'm a big guy, I'm wearing shoulder pads, um, or I'm not wearing shoulder pads, depending on how they fit, and they're a large, I generally wear an XL. Um, so we'll see how that works. Just to get a general sizing idea on it, this is, so this is the full sublimated jersey. Um, you can get any design you want here. Again, this was just a sizing sample. The material is, pretty nice on this it's not um i think they've updated it but it's pretty solid it's i'd be really happy to wear this if i didn't have to send this back i would just take it and make it a practice jersey for my goalie is like one of the seven teams um but yeah so this one's pretty decent so this is what basically you would get for sublimate right so this gray isn't obviously the jersey color it's just white and then they just basically sublimate the color into it so you can do all crazy designs like that Amer the tampa bay blades and like the one i'm wearing um, so you can do that stuff on here. And this is a nice jersey material, so this is always an option. The best part about sublimated jerseys is you can get whatever you want in terms of design and creative and how crazy it is, like all these stars and stripes and everything. If you have sponsors, perfect for that. So if you have a lot of details going on to a jersey, sublimated is basically the best way to go, as well as they don't really wear out. So if you have, lo even like logos, like iron on not iron on logo so even sewn on logos can fall off stuff like that sublimated basically the jersey is going to be the jersey for the whole life so that's pretty awesome in that regard um so i requested this jersey specifically if they had one just because if you haven't noticed my obsession with retro duck stuff um you probably should by now i just wanted to see what this looked like and what colors it was and stuff like that um so this is uh one of the higher end kobe jerseys this one is, I believe, $46 just for the jersey itself, and you have to add the logos and the numbers. So the reason being, a lot more cuts, thicker material compared to the previous ones. Um, so this is like they're getting into the pro weight. Um, it doesn't feel, it's not like the NHL Edge authentic jerseys are like $300. It's a step down, but it's like, it's beer league. This is perfect. And this is like really good for a lot of, basically most people's needs. Um, Really nice material. The only one that's really nicer than these, I do kind of like the sublimated material a little bit better, but the next step jerseys I'll show you are a little nicer than this one specifically, just because it uses a different style of mesh, but I'll show that in the close-ups. Um, these ones have double elbows, so you can see the stitching in the elbows. Just that's kind of a wear spot. And so, and I think it's on the shoulders too. And basically just where like jerseys can wear down so they put the doubles on there in case one layer uh rips you do have that second layer of kind of jersey yeah so that's always nice to have is that double uh knit elbows you do get that on the fully sublimated jerseys as well so again just a nice little bit extra durability there a little bit thicker um you're in a little bit more premium jersey in that sense so this ducks jersey brings up a really good point and so i'm gonna touch on that right now the way Kobe works is that they don't print out the very specific colors for each team. Um, so if you see the Rangers, like a New York Rangers style jersey and a Montreal Canadian style jersey, the blues are going to be the same. The reds are going to be the same. And like the blues of the Maple Leafs are going to be the same. They use the same material um, like, and they don't oh, like change it for each specific one. That way they can lower costs and make a ton of jerseys and have everything in stock. Um, as opposed to matching it perfect for team team one i don't know any beer league team that's that specific i'm basically as picky as it comes and 
my duck custom duck jersey is these colors and i'm fine with it um but with that said this is the real eggplant the ducks wear and this is the real anaheim teal so it's slightly different i'm i'm not criticizing this i'm just telling you what it is um because this color is almost impossible to get i've tried um, so i wanted to point that out but at the same time i wanted to talk about it. so don't expect like ranger blue and then montreal blue it will just be blue um so it's a thing to remember. So this is a massive jersey. It's a goalie cut. They sent me this for sizing. This is their most, again, this is, I think this one's $46 per jersey. And these are basically like, not NHL quality, but very, very close. Uh, so you do have mesh in the underarms for venting. It's a different type of material. So it's just not sublay materials. It is actually different materials. You can see making up of the design. Um, so it's more intricate that way. Also, like all these stripes are individual pieces. A lot more detail into this jersey, and the, the materials are really nice. Um, this is a very like pro weight, it's considered, and I agree with it. This is like a pro weight jersey. It's really, really nice feeling. It's heavy. It's what you want in a jersey. Um, so this one's really awesome. This is a goalie cut. So again, I'll show this one compared to like a CCM one I have while wearing it. And then we go to, this is another one that is done up. And this is kind of a mix between like the low end and the high end. So this is obviously one of the high end jerseys. You can see the mesh in the arms. Um, so it's not quite like an edge cut, but it still makes that kind of whole design. It, well, okay, it is edge cut. It just uses different materials for venting and stuff. So this is a really nice jersey. Feels awesome. Feels really high quality. Again, you have all the details for the stitching here, the different layers. And then this all uses a screen printed kind of logo set. So instead of going like a, like obviously this logo wouldn't be great with a crest because it would be massive and would get in the way. But this is kind of a nice mix between the two that shows even the screen printing on like the really high end jersey looks really nice too. I love this setup and I would rock this all the time for if I was just playing pickup or anything. Or if they, even if it's my team jersey, I'd be fine with it. I'm not sure what company this is, but it looks good. Um, but I kind of want to show off the different levels here just to see what you can do because no you normally think when you go high tier you get like a sewn on logo kind of something like this but that still looks great and it's still an option so definitely check that out too because i would prefer personally i'd prefer if you spent a little more on the jersey itself than like the logo just because you're wearing this more and you notice it more and then the logo can kind of get in the way if it's actually like a sewn on patch where this moves perfectly with you so one thing i want to show is how similar the materials of the kobe pro jer series jerseys are compared to an actual nhl jersey so the one on the right is obviously the nhl one so you can see the different materials there but when you get down here like the actual quality of the knit is very very similar um, they both feel pretty heavy like heavy duty and the difference is this one's normally like a 300 dollars jersey that you can't really buy for your team for this one you can so the next jersey i'm going to look at or not have you look at is not a jersey from jersey made easy this one is just a ccm practice jersey so i wear this as my goalie jersey for my bearhawks team in the summer um so this is sort of based off the new adidas nhl styles but it's a ccm version this is the same material that CCM uses for their base jerseys that they sell to teams. So like, uh, like if you were to order a bunch of jerseys, like say they, they sell them in all the different designs. I've seen them. Well, Vegas Knights is a local team has it and you can see the CCM on it. Some people used to buy these and then put crests on it for goalie cuts because you can't get goalie cuts and authentics. So this material is nowhere near as nice as the Kobe one. And this jersey, like this jersey itself was I think like 40 bucks for just the practice one or it was like 30 the the actual ones are i think 50 bucks for the actual with the team and this material is terrible compared to the kobe one the kobe one is way way nicer um like this material is pretty disappointing compared to the kobe one in all honesty definitely have a good quality jersey in the kobe compared to the ccm one so i definitely recommend taking a look at those in that sense um it doesn't I know some people will care about this. It doesn't hurt that the Kobe jersey is also made in Canada, which is, I guess, a little nice little feature. 
hopefully this little insight in all these jerseys is something that is helpful and interesting. Um, and hopefully Jersey Made Easy is uh, a company and a website that can help you out if you're looking for a set of jerseys for beer league team or, or anything like that. They are minimum, so they don't do one-offs. Um, that's one of the reasons why I haven't purchased anything from them because a lot of stuff I buy is one-offs. They're not, that's not their, what they're doing. Um, they do minimum, so for teams and stuff like that. Hopefully this was helpful and interesting. Um, I'm, I'm a fan of the work that I've seen so far. I will have another video talking about the socks, another video talking about the cresting. Um, so I'll link those in the description at the end of this. Check those out because it will give you a bit of an idea of kind of different options you can go after. And again, the reason I'm doing this is jer Jersey's made easy. Reach out to me in order to do kind of uh, like an affiliate thing here. So if you click the link in the description um, and order a Jersey through them, I will get a kickback from that. So it's kind of, so it helps fund this channel and support the channel. So that would be great and thankful for my end. Um, but I, I like the product. I think it's pretty good. Like the jerseys are great. Um, these jerseys specifically are better than my beer league team jerseys. And like these ones are just basically same quality, if not slightly better than what my teams have. Um, so I'm, and same with the sublimated ones, like these are nicer material than what my sublimated team have. I, I would stand behind this product and well, I, I stand behind these jerseys in terms of their quality. And uh, so I'm okay with doing this. I generally don't like to do this stuff, but it, like I said, I, I like this and I would actually wear it. So I'm okay with talking about it. So thank you very much for watching. Hit that link in the description. If you're looking for jerseys, at least go to their website, check it out. It's pretty interesting. Hopefully some of the videos I showed on how the process works is useful and uh, kind of opening how kind of easy it is. And yeah, so check out the sock video, check out the crest video and remember to subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thanks for watching. Take care.